Hello and welcome once again to Oxygen Not Included. Thank you very much for joining me guys, I hope you're doing okay. Um, this is my third video of my Let's Play or First Taste, depending on how long the series lasts for. Uh, okay, so we were just setting up this room the last time uh, for my water reservoir. Um, my guys are running around at the moment, so I'll unpause to let them carry on. And I was also harvesting some food. So, harvest the rest of you. And we've already filled up one for re refrigerator almost, so pretty good. We've got 143 meal lice. <laughs> Oh, and they're no longer going down there because that is blocked by sandstone or by sand rather um, even if you've built a ladder if sand falls from the top it will block these up and obviously that's not a good thing and my power is not that great either So sooner rather than later I'm going to have to deal with the power supply. Adding a few more batteries in. Um, I still want most of this to be temporary however. Um, in fact one of the things I can do. Deconstruct both of those. Because I'm not going to be doing any more research for a little while. And when I do, I want it in its own room rather than just in the middle of my base, so. And that should stop those drawing a little bit of power as well, which is always a good thing. Most of my guys are just cleaning up at the moment. And my oxygen's getting better. I mean, down here is ridiculously breathable. And it's slowly feeding up the tunnel, so always handy. Now we can actually help that by digging out all of that. Now we'll leave that side for now. So it'll give the oxygen a little bit more space to move up. Come on, couple more. <laughs> Boom. Perfect. So that gives the oxygen sort of a bigger channel to move up. It's still got to get through a single gap at the top, but, you know, better than nothing. Uh, harvest those, please. And my storage chests are almost full. Wow. Only two that aren't. Well, at least the contaminated oxygen is mostly staying up here. So that's something, at least. Uh, dig you up. Oh, and that's something else. I need to set you as quite a high priority. So that you actually start composting stuff. Uh, I mean, your duplicates have a variety of tools. Um, that they use, sort of two or three different guns they use for everything. Um, so they pick stuff up with it, they uh, move stuff around with. Oh, there he goes, composting. It's not the nicest of jobs, I know, I'm sorry. Um, but that compost will just sit there and produce gas constantly. Um, and then when it's finished, it will be fertilizer. Now my batteries should last longer without my research benches um, taking up some. And Cecile, you once again require a massage, so as soon as you wake up, you will hopefully go over there and cool off a little. Cancel that one. Oh, you're having trouble breathing as well. Damn it. Now, there are things in the research tree that um, let gas move through them. So depending on where your oxygen 
production is. You can basically have a floor that the gas can move through still. Um, but they do detract from beauty, which is slightly annoying. Okay. But on the whole, I think we're moving quite well with this base. You know, we're getting it set up. Oh, your granite, okay. Got quite a nice amount of slime down here. Oh, a puff. So, there are creatures in this game. There is combat as well and things like that. Um, but a puff is a non-aggressive um, entity in the game. And it will consume contaminated oxygen. And basically... Um, poo out lumps of slime. Um, so there you go. And it will also breathe out oxygen. So having these in your base sometimes is a really good way of getting rid of the contaminated oxygen and they also give you a constant supply of slime which can be used to make water. Or sorry, make algae. <laughs> um, so yeah. There's other creatures that um, create coal and they eat other materials. Oh, there's another creature. So that's a morph. Um, this thing is more sort of dangerous. This is just basically a disease carrying creature. So it's best to just kill that off. <laughs> but yeah, so there are several different varieties of creature. Um, oh, there's another morph. Or morb, rather. But yeah, so it's not just a dead world that you're just mining out. Um, there are creatures, there are things to look at, um, which I think is awesome. And I'm going to dig away there, because that is an oxalite block. And so is that, so I'd like to add that oxygen too, if possible. So now the air pressure is lower, these will start breathing out oxygen. Oh, there's another one just there, so dig that way as well. May as well help have the oxalite helping than, you know, not. Oh, and bedtime. Okay, Archibald, you're the one that's struggling now, so I think it's time you had a massage. Yeah, you're sort of in carbon dioxide as well. I think most of them are at the moment. Definitely need to do something about their bedrooms. Okay, well, they're still going down here. Now, you may have noticed that some materials take longer for them to dig up. So the harder the material, the longer it actually takes them to dig out. Okay. What's the oxygen like there? Oh, poor. <laughs> I thought it might be, but... Now, some of you might have wondered why I put sort of this extra piece here. Um, it's because I don't want to contaminate my water source. So all my water for my base is going to be stored in this reservoir. And the last thing I want to happen is water will obviously move and sink down to the lowest point it can. So if one of my um, duplicates had an accident, for example, and wet themselves here, the water would move down move to here and then stop here it wouldn't be able to go further um, and it's really important to have things like this just to stop accidents like that happening because the last thing you want is all your water in your base to be contaminated um, and I'm just gonna harvest a few of these 
just to fill my refrigerators up. I'm always going to keep about 12,000 calories. Or hope to, anyway. Oh, already another one. Okay, let's have a look. So we've got uh, May, who is a yokel, so can't do research. But Molehan, so she's very good at digging. She's also good at tinkering and construction. Uh, you are sort of my... If no one else comes jumping out at me, you're who I'm taking. Um, anemic, so very bad at athletics. Cooking is completely useless to me because I don't cook. Uh, so yeah, May, you're our new duplicate. And once again, um, I'm just going to bunk you up in here. Preferably not in the corner that is completely full of carbon dioxide. That's a seal. There we go. Well, they're getting through this at least. Oh. Now obviously the more duplicates you have, the quicker your food will disappear, but having set up 15 of these planter boxes, they should last me quite a while, so I'm not too worried. Um, and my algae is going up because I've been digging some of it out, which is awesome. Mm, uh, bedtime. <laughs> But I'll soon be ready to start putting some of this water in here. I think I'll start with this one here. This one's going to be easy. I just break the wall and let it flow in. So not really hard in that respect. What I can also do is tell them to dig out pathways. Cancel that one. So they'll now dig out all of this and then I can have them slowly dig out the floors beneath. Cancel those two. That should be fine. But now they can stand on these floors, so obviously it won't work very well for the sand, but we'll come to that eventually. All in all, I think my base is coming along quite nicely. I've got to think about new bedrooms though. Um, that. Silly thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just gonna deconstruct here. There we go. Silly thing. 
Perfect. That'll give them quite a bit of work, but, you know. Once I've finished these, I can deconstruct these cots here. And obviously they're doing these jobs because they're the same priority as these ones down here, and these are just closer. Okay, now you can set up your duplicates jobs. Um, so for example, if you were doing cooking, um, and the zeros you didn't want to be cooking, you could untick them and then only the people that are ticked would do the job. Um, and while you can do this for a lot of stuff, um, I find that just leaving everyone on everything works just as well. Um, it's more important when you're doing it for like cooking and things like that, or if you're trying to specialise your duplicates a little bit more. But, you know, on the whole, normally you don't need to worry too much. Okay. A couple of the beds have been made, so I can deconstruct these at this point. Now, I'm not actually going to connect these lamps with power yet. But your duplicates don't obviously like being in the dark all the time. So by lighting the areas up, they're a little bit happier. Now I'm not going to connect that to the power because these two batteries just wouldn't cope with that much extra stuff. Um, I could put some more batteries and more um, running wheels but yeah, not too keen on that yet. I don't have much decor items yet either. Once I get these bedrooms finished, I will start working on the reservoir once again. And then once I've moved these liquids, I'll be able to put a proper um, research area in. Most of that water's gone at this point as well. Okay. Uh, now you do have, uh, if you push E, you've got your daily report. So you can go on like the previous days. Um, and it will tell you how much oxygen you've generated, how much you've removed, things like that. So it's a, a good overview of, you know, what's happened in your base. So, but don't often use this to be honest. Um, the only thing it, I find it really useful for is the oxygen. But then again, just doing that and making sure the areas are still blue um, is still just as effective in my opinion. And that area is really filling up now with contaminant. Eek. Okay. Now these particular doors, um, they don't stop oxygen, carbon dioxide, anything like that going through them. They also don't stop uh, water or fluids going through them. So, yeah. <laughs> they are helpful, but not that useful so much. Um, it's more to help you define sort of room areas yourself. Uh, later on you can get airtight doors and things that do stop fluids and do stop air going through them. Ok. 
Okay. Most of the bedrooms are now complete. Last little push for these two. And there's no point harvesting these yet because both fridges are full and we've got some on the floor there, so... We've still got field rations that you start the game with. It just shows that we got the fridges up quite quickly because normally they would have deteriorated by now and disappeared. So, always handy. Okay, bedrooms are complete so they're now going to be moving down here. Now, I wouldn't mind clearing the bedrooms out but my chests are completely full at this point so... I think we're going to need a couple more of them here. I know, it's horrible. You've got no air. Right, and once again, make sure you turn off the contaminated dirt. Last thing I need stuck in these things is contaminated dirt. Producing all the bad oxygen. Nope, nope, not con. There we go. So, yeah, all of them are set up now. Now your your duplicates can jump over tiles as well, so just because it looks like they can't get somewhere, sometimes they still can. Oh, and it's already time for printing. Wow. Okay, so Twinkle Toes, which means they're just better at athletics. You're a loud sleeper, which doesn't matter because you'd have your own bedroom. You're very good at digging. Very good at digging. Bottomless stomach means that you eat more. Irritable bowels take longer than usual to do their business. Okay. But wow, you are really good at everything and you're very good at digging. Um, it's between these two, I think. Um, I think... I think I'm going to go with you. Although he doesn't have all the other skills like this duplicate has, um, he's faster so he'll move around the place a lot quicker. Yeah, you know what? Um, you're going to be my, my new one, Woodrow. There we go. So we're actually up to seven duplicates at this point, so I've only got one bedroom spare. So. <laughs> Uh, and let's set his bedroom up. Woodrow, you're in there, please. Because that room just there is full of CO2. But with another duplicate, that means some of this will get done even faster. Now, I am going to have to put a couple of ladders here and there. Just to help them get across places. And wow, this area is really badly full of carbon dioxide. Now eventually this will be full of water, so it won't matter in the slightest, but... But see, uh, Woodrow's our loud sleeper, and he projects this sort of area around him. So if you've got any other duplicates sleeping within that area, they will have a debuff because of it. So they won't very much appreciate being in a, a room with a loud sleeper. Yeah, 
I don't know you'd do that. Oh, well, at least you can still reach. And, oh, we had some water come through there, which isn't too much of a problem, really. <laughs> as long as I do this layer by layer, it won't matter that uh, they're standing on it, because they'll just drop to the next layer. And deconstruct those two ladders, please. Now, I don't know if your uh, duplicants can die if they fall too far. I've never experienced it, but that doesn't mean it's not possible. Uh, so just be careful when you're doing things like this. And more water coming through. Oh, I never actually added in the electric wires or anything. That was stupid of me. Uh, then again, I can just have power running through here instead. Because if this is going to be my um, power generation room somewhere up here, and that's not what I want to happen, of course. Cancel all that. Uh, but yeah, I'll keep the cable around there. But yeah, if I'm generating power in this room, I'll be able to get power to it. Uh, and dig this out, please. And all of this. Oh, and bedtime. But we've nearly finished this room. And it is completely full of carbon dioxide. Wow. And... These rooms aren't actually that bad. Some of them are because of the amount of rubbish that's still in the room, so I might have to clear that soon. But their stress levels are staying quite low at the moment. Now, something else to remember, um, if you look at your vitals. Duplicants that have been here a long time, um, their requirements actually go up. And what I mean by that is... If your um, duplicant has been here for a single cycle, their decor expectation will be quite low, or whatever it originally was. However, as they stay here longer, their decor expectation goes up. So if we find um, Woodrow, his decor expectation is 11. Or, sorry, no, the decor in this area is 11. His expectation is 15. But depending on how long they've been here that expectation will actually increase so you'll constantly have to do better and better for your duplicates but yeah so eventually they will be very angry if their rooms aren't very impressive and things like that so you just have to keep an eye on them hang on why are you producing contaminants Oh, is the slime doing it as well, is it? Damn it. I didn't realise slime also produced contaminated oxygen. You can have fertilizer in here as well. It's annoying going through. I really wish there was a copy and paste function. Fertilizer. There we go. And up here will be a couple of these. 
that will just be for contaminated things like slime and but yeah look it's the slime that's producing uh, contaminant okay so you will just be for contaminated dirt and slime and I think put you at quite a high priority so that it's not sat in the middle of my base and ruining my oxygen supply okay last bit to dig out and then I think some ladders across there and I will deconstruct this wall that'll empty the oxygen from here out actually cancel that bottom one just the two walls is enough There we go. Empties extremely quickly, actually. Now, we also need ladders down into there and to dig out just here we need another liquid pump there we go uh, what material was that using Obsidian, yeah, we've got quite a bit of it. And I'm going to need to plug you into power as well. There we go. still having trouble with the oxygen and the contaminated oxygen is everywhere Jesus that's not good oh, and these are overheated damn it uh, that's something else if you look at the temperature these things produce a lot of heat over here and so does this so it's overheating my plants a little, which is frustrating. And that's working. Oh. So that's pumping water through and all going through to over here. Uh, now the other thing I can do is set pipes up here. There we go. And cancel you. So that will get all three of them working instead of just the one. Oh, there's not enough water in the pipe so it's just using one still. Which isn't a problem. Oh, that water is still flowing out for the moment. Once it stops falling off the edge, I will seal this up again. Uh, oh, and looking at the time, I'm going to leave it there, guys. 
so thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please like, comment and subscribe and see you later.